What's going on, guys? VinVin520 here, bringing you another Gears of War Judgment commentary. And, um, something cool happens in this map in a little bit. Um, one of these guys, he just, like, went AFK or whatever. And I guess I had a ball on him because he just would not play. And he kept on spawning in this one particular spot. So I think I just start sniping at him for, like, <laughs> I don't know, a good minute or so. So I thought it was kind of cool. And I never really noticed that that happened on this map. But that's not really what I want to talk about today. Um... What I wanted to, oh yeah, and let me get to this before the commentary, I'm sorry I've been away again, you know, it's college, school, work, testing, and all that, you know, I'm trying to do my best this semester and everything, so, when I take these little, like, hiatus breaks, you know, don't be alarmed, I'm not quitting or anything like that, if you really like my videos, I'm not leaving, I'll be around for a while, um, but yeah, what I wanted to talk about today was women in video games, and I guess women, in, like, in general, and, like, what kind of, um, like, why do people get so offended at specific things in women? So, like, recently I was watching this interview by Adam Sessler. Um, and if you don't know who Adam Sessler is, he's been on X-Play on G4 for, like, the past 10 years or something like that. And since G4 has recently disbanded, he's moved over to Rev3 Games. And they have a channel on YouTube. They have a web page and all that. You can go check that out if you want. Um, maybe I'll leave some links in the description or something. But it's Rev3 Games. But he was reviewing God of War Ascension. And um, in God of War Ascension, there is a particular moment where uh, Kratos is fighting one of the three harpies in the game. I don't know w which harpy it is or anything like that, but he's fighting the harpy. And when he uh, beats her, he, you know, like, violates her. Well, not, not like sexually violates her, but in a violent way. You know, like the, the God of War game's typical violence. Like, the God of War game is known for their extremely gruesome and graphic scenes. So, um... You know, Kratos, at one point in the game, he curb stomps the harpy, and, uh, you know, people got so offended by this, and I don't understand why. I mean, out of context, I could kind of see, because there was an achievement that pops up after you beat that scene or whatever called Bros Before Hoes, and people got so offended by this, but I don't understand why, because these are the bad people in the game, you know, so... Why is it a big deal that you're calling them hoes? Like, you know, if, if you don't like somebody, you insult them to some degree. I mean, that's why trash talking exists. And some people don't like it. Some people do. I understand that. But why was this blown out of proportion so much that the developers of the game had to completely change the name of that achievement? Why was it that serious? I don't understand. Because in God of War 3, Kray I mean, uh, spoiler alert, you can click away if you don't want to hear this point. But in God of War 3, Kratos kills his own brother, Hercules, by pounding his face in with his fist. He literally caves his whole entire head inside of it, inside of his face or whatever. And nobody had a problem with this. But what is it? Is it because he's a man? I don't know what the name of the achievement is after you beat Hercules or anything, but was it that the name was not offensive to people? But why has this become so offensive as soon as, you know, as soon as a woman gets turned into this? You know, in the God of War games, there's plenty of sexual acts committed against women, which to some degree have their own, um, they have their own consequences or their own controversy, should I say. But nobody ever made it that much of a big deal that there had to be a patch where they took it out of the game or something like that. Like, I don't understand why when it comes to women and violent acts in video games is it so serious. You know, even in the new Call of Duty game, they're implementing women soldiers. And some people are really offended by this because they don't want to see women being harmed. But the truth is that women go to war. Women fight for our country just as we do. Women in other countries, they fight and they kill and this is stuff that happens. You know, I can understand the controversy if they had child soldiers in the game, but me personally, that wouldn't even bother me because I know to some extent that is a real thing that happens in the world and it's just something that they're trying to capture. So I don't understand why to people this is such a big deal. You know, even when, like, why why is it when women do anything, it's a big deal, really? I don't, I don't understand. You know, even, like, let's say integrated sports teams, you know, like females on basketball teams or females on sports teams. Like, why is it that it's not okay? If the female or the woman, whatever, if she can perform to the standard that the males can, if not better, then she should definitely easily be able to have a part of this. You know, even in my school, um... I think a girl tried to join the football team and she had a hard time. And I mean, I don't know if she actually got on the team because she probably gave up. 
But I don't understand why it's always a big deal. If she can compete and she can do just as well as the guys, if not better, there should be no issue whatsoever. Because everybody has to practice to get on the team. So everybody should be allowed to practice and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if I'm really getting off topic. But my point is, why is violence and women so controversial to people? You know, because to me personally, I understand that it's something that happened. And you can even see in Gears of War 3 and in Gears of War Judgment with the implementation of the female characters, I like to play the female characters. And uh, I I can't really explain why I like to play the female characters. There's no like perverted reason or anything like that, but... There's something to me which is cool about a woman who can become a badass. I mean, to some degree, I still, <laughs> I, I'm still like a little child, and I want my male characters to do better than my female characters. You know, like um, I don't even know how to explain that thought. But if you're like a boy or a male, and you grew up, you always kind of rooted for the males more than the females. I still kind of have that mentality, but not as serious as it was when I was a kid. You know, but. Either way, the point is that I I don't understand why this was made such a big deal to so many people. Like, why is it so disgusting when you do these acts to a woman and not when it happens to a man? Like, violence is violence, regardless of the fact. And violence committed against any human being is wrong. You know, in real life anyway. Video games is fine. But either way, you guys let me know how you feel in the comments section. Sorry I've been away. College and all that jazz. Um, Either way, I hope you guys have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Peace out.